Hello everyone, I am Dr. Raja Roy. In this video, I am going to explain about CO, PO and PSO attainment procedure for theory courses. CO attainment can be calculated by considering some assessment tools. The first assessment tool we can take is performance in sessional marks and performance in end semester examination also we will consider whatever marks the student is securing in the end semester examination for all CO's. So that also we will consider as the second assessment tool. CO attainment calculation for performance in sessional marks. In our department we are conducting two mid examinations and weighted average of two mid examinations we are taking for 20 marks. We are conducting two assignment tests and average we are considering for 10 marks. Case studies or quizzes we are conducting for 5 marks. Okay. So total here is 35 marks and these 35 marks we have to subdivide to 5 CO's because for each subject we are taking 5 course outcomes that means 5 CO's then marks allocated for each CO is 35 by 5 that means 7 marks so weightage given for each CO is 7 marks then out of the 7 4 marks will allocate for mid exams and 3 marks will allocate for assignment tests and quiz tests so this is the weightage we are giving for assignment and quiz out of 7, 3 and mid exams weightage is 4 for each CO. After dividing the marks allocated for each CO to mid exams and assignment and quiz exams, then we can use this equation to find out the student CO attainment percentage. To explain this in a much better way, I will take an example like this. So here I am taking a class containing 6 students. CO1, CO2, CO3, CO4, CO5, CO's we are having. Okay. So, in mid 1 exam, the marks allocated for CO1 are 15, and in assignment 1, marks allocated for CO1 5, in quiz 1, marks allocated for CO1 5. So, the total of assignment and quiz marks allocated are 5 plus 5, 10. Whatever marks the student is securing that I am listing here. So that means in mid one exam 15 marks question is given related to CO1. In assignment 1 5 marks question is given related to CO1. In quiz 1 CO1 question contains for 5 marks. So something in this way we have to split the from the question paper we have to split whatever maximum marks that are allocated for each CO. Then from the answer scripts, whatever marks the student is securing that we have to enter here. Similarly, for CO2, in mid, ex mid 1 examination, 15 marks question is given. In assignment 1, 5 marks question related to CO2 is given. In quiz 2, 5 marks question related to CO2 is given. This assignment plus quiz equal to 10. So that I am writing as A plus Q. Similarly for CO3, in mid 1 and mid 2, CO3 related questions are given. So that means in mid 1 exam, 10 marks question is given. In mid 2 also 10 marks question is given, total 20. In assignment 2, only 3 marks question is given related to CO3. That's why here maximum marks are 3. In quiz 3, 5 marks questions are given. So total assignment plus quiz is 8. Similarly, for CO4 also, in mid to examination, 20 marks question is given. Similarly, assignment quiz this you can understand. In the same way you can understand, you can split the total marks allocated and whatever marks the student is securing in mid 1, assignment 1, quiz 1, etc. Related to these CVs, those marks we can enter here. So after filling this table for all the students in the entire class, then for each student we have to find out the student CO attainment percentage this is for each student so student 1 so what is the CO1 attainment percentage that is 85 how we are getting this 85 means so calculation is like this in the mid examination marks allocated for CO1 is 15 that we are taking in the denominator here CO1 related questions will be there in mid 1 only so that's why the student will secure marks in mid one only for CO1. The marks are 11. The student secured 11 marks for CO1 in mid one. So that we are writing here. 
ओके इंटू फोर प्लस नौ वाट आर् दि मैक्सीम मार्क्स एलोकेटेड फर् असैनमेंट एंड क्विज रिटेड टू सीओ वन आर फाइव एंड फाइव दट मीन टेन सो फाइव प्लस फाइव दट यू हव टू रईट इन दि डिनामेटर देन अवट आफ दिस फाइव एंड फाइव वाट आर् दि मार्क्स स्टूडेंट सेक्यूर्ड सो इन असैनमेंट हि सेक्यूर्ड फाइव एंड क्विज हि सेक्यूर्ड फाइव टोटल टेन फाइव प्लस फाइव दीज आर दि मार्क्स सेक्यूर्ड बै दि स्टूडेंट इंटू थ्री होल डिवेड बै सेवन इंटू हंड्रेड दट गिव एटी फाइव दट एटी फाइव वी हव टू रईट हियर ओके In the same way, you have to repeat the procedure for CO2. So, in CO2, the maximum marks allocated for mid exams are 15. CO2 question will be there in mid one exam only. So, maximum marks allocated are 15. Okay. Weight is given for mid exams four. Weight is given for assignment plus quiz three. That I am writing here four and three. That I am writing here. Then, what are the marks students secured? That is seven. Mark secured by student is seven. That I am writing here. Into four means this four. The weight is that is four plus the marks allocated for CO two in assignment and quiz are five and five. Okay, the student secured out of five he secured only two marks here in the assignment and two marks in the quiz. Two plus two. Into the weight is is three. Is three. Whole divided by seven into hundred. That is forty-four. That you have to write here. Okay. In the same way, this procedure you have to repeat for CO three, CO four, and CO five also. Then automatically you will get ninety-four, eighty-six, and eighty. So quickly I'll explain these remaining three also. So this is for CO three. Maximum marks are twenty through mid one and mid two. Mid one is for ten. Mid two is for ten. Total is 20 so out of this 20 in mid 1 and mid 2 combinedly related to co3 is 18 that 18 i am writing here into 4 plus in assignment and quiz the marks allocated are 3 and 5 out of 3 and 5 he secured full marks 3 and 5 into 3 by 7 that is 94 that i am writing here okay next for co4 co4 also same procedure We are getting 86. That I am writing here. CO5 also same procedure. This is the marks maximum marks for mid. He secured 15. These are the mark maximum marks four and five. Allocated for assignment and quiz. He secured two and five. Then 76 percent he is getting. Something in this way you re you repeat the same procedure for all the students. That means here you have to write an Excel equation. That Excel formula you can drag for all the students. Okay, then you will get the CO attainment percentage for each student. So next step is you take this table separately. So this is the CO attainment percentage table. From this table, how many number of students secured more than fifty that you have to count? Out of six students, how many number of students secured fifty or more than fifty? So greater than fifty. So here all are secured fifty or more than fifty. So that count is six. So total number of students are six. Out of six, all are secured more than fifty in C O one. Okay. Suppose this criteria is suppose more than sixty, then automatically this will become five. Okay. So for the time being, I am assuming this as fifty. Next for C O two, if you count. Only three are there. These two, these two, and this this student. All these three values are less than fifty. So you are getting three. For C O two, only three students are attaining the required percentage. C O two attainment percentage greater than fifty means only three students are there. Next for C O three, five students are there. C O four, again five students are there. C O five four students are there one two three four four students are there total number of students are six the number of students attaining the each C O are like this from this we can get the C O attainment percentage like this C O 
one attainment percent is hundred. CO two attainment percent is three by sixty. Three by six into hundred that is fifty. For CO three five by six into hundred that is eighty three. For CO four five by six into hundred again again eighty three. CO five four by six into hundred that is sixty seven. So these are the CO attainment percentages based on the performance of students in the sessional marks. Okay. So now fifty percent of the job is over. Next step is we have to consider the end semester examination marks. That percentage also we have to calculate by taking the average of these two final attainment we will get. Okay. Next CO attainment calculation for performance in end semester exam. So end semester exam will be there for sixty marks. So number of CVs we have considered is five. Then marks allocated for each CV is sixty by five, that is twelve. Next for each CV we have to find out the CV attainment percentage by taking the marks obtained for each CV divided by maximum marks of the maximum marks allocated for that particular CV into hundred. So to explain this in a better way. I'll take an example. So here, <clears throat> five CVs we are taking, and the same strength of six students we are taking for each CV. We are allocating twelve twelve marks. Max marks are twelve twelve. Out of twelve, whatever marks the student is securing for each question, so that we are entering here. These are the student marks. Now we can find out the CV attainment percentage for each student. Okay, student one. CO one attainment percentage is eight by twelve into hundred. Student one CO attainment percentage is equal to marks obtained for that particular CO divided by maximum marks of that CO into hundred. So for student one CO one attainment is eight by twelve into hundred. That is sixty seven. For student same student CO two attainment percentage is twelve by twelve into hundred. That is hundred percent. For CO three Ten by twelve into hundred, that is eighty-three percent. CO four seven by twelve into hundred, that is fifty-eight percent. Then CO five eight by twelve into hundred, that is sixty-seven percent. Okay. So something like this, we will find out the CO attainment percentage for each student. You just repeat this procedure for remaining all the students. Write an Excel formula and drag it for all the students. Then. We will get a table like this. This is the student CVO attainment table. Now you take this table separately here. Then find out the number of students who secured more than fifty percent CVO attainment. So here, if you observe, one, two, three, four students out of six are securing more than fifty for CVO one, for CVO two also four, for CVO three five, CVO four four, CVO five only three students are more than fifty. Total number of students are six. Then CVO attainment percentage is four by six into hundred. Four by six into hundred that is sixty-seven percent. This is also sixty-seven. Five by six into hundred means eighty-three. Four by six into hundred means sixty-seven. Three by six means fifty percent. Okay. This is the CVO attainment percentages in the external examination and semester examination. Now. We can find out the final CVO attainment by taking the percentage of CVO attainment in sessionals. So that is 150, 83, 83, 67, and the percentage of CVO attainment in end semester examination that is 67, 67, 83, 67, 50. So by taking the average of these, the final attainment for each CVO is like this. Now, based on these percentages, we can write the CVO attainment levels. Based on these conditions, so CVO attainment level will be one. If this value, this percentage value is more than forty and less than fifty-five, and the CVO attainment level is two. If this percentage is greater than fifty-five and less than seventy-five, level is three. If it is greater than or equal to seventy-five, this is greater than seventy-five. That's why three. So this is in between fifty-five to seventy-five. That's why two. This is greater than seventy-five. Three. This is greater than or equal to seventy five means again it is three, and this is fifty eight point five means that falls under this category. This is two. Something in this way, the final CVO attainment levels we are getting.
So we can represent these percentages graphically also as shown here percentage of CO attainment we can represent in a pie chart for better understanding purpose. So after attaining these CO attainment levels next thing is PO and PSO attainment. So these are the attainment levels for COs. This is the CO, PO and PSO mapping matrix. These are the 5 COs, these are the 12 POs and these are the 2 PSOs. This is the mapping matrix. This mapping matrix, these values will change from subject to subject. So roughly I am taking these values for one subject. Okay. Then how to find out PO attainments and PSO attainments that I will explain now. So this is the attainment value and this is the attainment percentage. How we are getting that means for PO1 just observe. So these are the mapping values. These are the mapping values. So this value and this attainment value. So for PO1, CO1 mapping value and CO1 attainment value you have to multiply plus for the same PO, CO2 mapping value and CO2 attainment value you have to multiply plus this CO3 mapping value, CO3 attainment multiply then CO4 mapping, CO4 attainment multiply plus CO5 mapping with PO1 and CO5 attainment value to multiply divided by so whatever mapping values you are taking for PO1 add all these in the denominator then you will get the PO attainment level that is 2.54 we are getting so this this is the attainment value attainment percentage means what is the maximum value of attainment we are taking what is the maximum value we are taking is 3 out of 3 you are getting 2.54 means the percentage is 2.54 divided by 3 into 100 that is 84.5 percentage we just repeat the same procedure for PO2, PO3, PO5, PO12 and PSO also you will get the attainment values and attainment percentages like this. Thanks for watching this video.